Now, what do you think happened when I bumped into the Flat Earth Debate Show host outside of his own channel? I've just destroyed you on your friend's channel. You've been absolutely destroyed on this channel by one question. Now, as much as I'd like to show you what actually happened, within 24 hours, that video was deleted from the internet completely. It's no longer available anywhere. Oh. Right, Slaphead. What do you want? Well, you just said that that video had been deleted from the internet. Yeah. So? Well, you've just shown a clip of it. So if it's been deleted, that means you managed to download it first. Oh, yeah. And we'll get to it after this. Ladies and gentlemen, last week on Conspiracy Cats, you saw Conspiracy Cats, Confused Plain Guy, upside down. Confused Shed Guy, hey, The Golden Girl. Hey, girl. But one person was more important than them all put together, and it wasn't this guy. Can you get an extra day's work right there? That's right, it was this guy. Hello. Mitch the Psychic. <laughs> Yeah, so just a reminder that last week, Mitch the Psychic was exposed on Conspiracy Cats as being Mitch the Not-So-Psychic. Now, as a result of that, he's deleted his entire YouTube account. Now, you don't have to be psychic to guess what the most common comment in my comment section was after that. I bet he didn't see that coming. Or variations of it, like this. He didn't see that coming. Now, I have been trying to get in touch with Mitch to let him know that what I did last week wasn't personal and I am proud of him for making the right decision and realising that what he was doing wasn't helpful, you know, and I do hope that he's alright because of it. But I couldn't find a way to get in touch with him. So, 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 I had to ask another psychic. Conspiracy, conspiracy, is it cats? It could be cats. Cats. Thanks, Trish. Um, a conspiracy, you've upset your friend Mitch. No, you haven't upset your friend Mitch because your friend Mitch is responsible for his own feelings. Yeah, she's right. Go up, Mitch. <laughs> Hello, my name's Pete Shea, and I'm here just to make some really bizarre wild claims. Um, conspiracy cats, I think you just turned into a woman. Pete Shea, what the hell are you on about? Where have they gone? Where have they gone? <laughs> Hello, my name's Beyond the Imaginary Brain. Le Mayo. Cheers for the material, you'll talk a loony space, comma. You need to move back on from teaching infants crayon drawings. It is holding you back, son. Space, comma, you are a joke. No, full stop. Del, why'd you speak to me like that? You're a fucking absolute spastic. He's talking to you, pal. Anyway, Del, news just in. The Easter Bunny is only going to come to good little boys and girls that drink at least a gallon of water a day. Bless him. Anyway, where were we? Hello, my name's Dave. Please go on the Nathan Oakley channel where you can be challenged, full stop, full stop, full stop, as opposed to sitting in your self places. Fanboy echo chamber, full stop, full stop, full stop. I could have lent one of those full stops to be on the imaginary brain. So what is the full story behind the clash that I had with Nathan Oakley this Thursday? Well, it all started on Wednesday night. Nathan's here. Hello. No swearing, no swearing, please. How are you doing? So this gentleman is called Skyfly Bry, and on a hangout over on the channel Hitchhiker's Guide to the Earth, he asked Nathan Oakley this very sensible question. Well, no. if it's fusion, isn't that just bubbles of air in water? No, not that question. This one. If the Earth is flat with the North Pole in the middle and the entirety of the outside being the South Pole, how can three people look south in different directions but yet see the same stars? So for those of you who know Nathan Oakley, you'll not be surprised by the response that you're going to hear in a couple of seconds. For those of you who don't, what you need to know is this man hosts a daily Flat Earth debate show where whenever he's asked any question whatsoever about the Flat Earth, he replies like, well, just take a listen. Show me that, what you have just described. Have you got that? If not, I couldn't give a fuck, you stupid idiot. Now on Nathan's show, when the guests actually want to respond, Nathan Oakley has a mute button that he uses to, well, what does he do with it, Anthony? Mute everybody. Yeah, well done, pal. Uh. 
Now on Wednesday night, Nathan Oakley didn't have his mute button with him, so what followed after that was absolutely sensational. And I was going to make this whole video about it, but it would be wrong for me to rob that channel of the views it deserves. So I've linked it in the description. All I'm going to say is you've got to watch it to see Nathan Oakley's true colours shine. Um, channel Q and Sky Fibre Eye, I've linked your channels in the description. You did amazing jobs. Um, you all deserve this. Yes. So fast forward 24 hours and Nathan Oakley is still super sore about the spanking he got the night before. And he sees me on a Skype call on a channel run by a guy called Sleeping Warrior. And he can't wait to get in there to try and restore his reputation. Hello, my name is Nathan Oakley. Now translate this if you can. If they email me the link did my address show in the chat. Now we all know what that means. It means I want a piece of conspiracy cat so let me on. Now I have said numerous times that I will debate Nathan Oakley for charity on a channel where a moderator will keep one person silent while the other person speaks. That's exactly how I want to do it and I will put £200 into that charity pot myself. Uh, I'm not really up for being hijacked on a Skype call where I haven't got any pictures or anything like that to share but Nathan Oakley was really keen to come on and Anthony Riley was really keen to let him. Right, well I'll pass my message, you phone me back when you've got a date and we'll do it on your channel. We will do it on your channel but we will do it for charity. <laughs> no, we're not doing it for charity. No, neither Anthony or Nathan wanted to do anything for charity. They wanted it there and then on that show because without me, well, what was that show like without me? It's just boring. Yeah, and the flat earthers in the chat, they really wanted to see us get it on. Right now in chat, people that literally, I'm going to quote someone. Go on then. Yeah, Russ McGarry, cats is a coward. So this Russ McGarry guy was really, really triggered that I wanted to do this at another time, properly set up for charity. He must really hate poor kids. Um, let's look at some of the comments he sent. Hello, it's me, Russ McGarry. Cats is a coward. You're a coward, cats. You won't debate Oakley. And, um, and what else am I going to say? It's me again. Just get on with it, cats. Stop running away from Nathan Oakley, my hero. Come on, you're not dancing, cats. You're running, running away from my hero. I love Nathan Oakley. He's my hero. You're stuttering, cats. You're not going to do it. Nathan Oakley's my hero. Oh, you're going to bottle it, and you're not going to debate my hero, Nathan Oakley. Now, I promise you, you're going to want to see some of Russ McGarry's comments at the end of this video, because I've never seen a bigger 180 in my life. It was hilarious. Um, anyway, so I'm in a position where I'm stuck speaking to someone that I really don't want to be speaking to, um, not doing it for charity, and if I walk away, I'm going to look stupid. So the only thing I could possibly do was totally destroy him. Step number one, show him that he can't speak all over me. Conspiracy yeah. cats. I was in the middle of a sentence, my friend. I hadn't finished. No, it probably took what was probably quite an annoying five or six minutes for the people listening um, for Nathan to realise that he wasn't going to speak all over me and that I was going to stand my ground. And then what happened was Nathan folded like a deck chair. Listen to this. Go on, Nathan. I won't interrupt you this time. Go on, Nathan. Oh, is he gone? I think he's no, waiting, for, waiting you for you to shut the fuck up. I'm waiting for you to shut up, cats. Yeah? Oh, dear. But I was quiet for at least 10 seconds, as identified by this flat earther in the chat, who's getting increasingly frustrated with Nathan's poor performance. What if he did, did shut up, Nathan? Please talk. Talk. You're letting us all down, Nathan. You, you're coming across as stupid. Come on, Nathan. Please. Please save us. But poor little Nathan Oakley just can't seem to get out of his shell. Go on, go on. I'm waiting. Are you looking for your mute button? Go on, Nathan, you've got the floor. No, I haven't. Mate, I wanted to drop you. Oh, it's all gone quiet. Maybe he's looking for his mute button. I don't know. So I'll, I'll, I'll speak then while he's gone. Now he and Nathan is totally out of ideas. So I try and help him by prompting him with some of his uh, favorite topics, such as independent variables and gas pressure without a container. You tell me something really clever about, about gas pressure needing a container and I'll not interrupt you. Go on. Talk to me about independent variables. Go on, Nathan. Cats, shush. I'm waiting for Nathan, I'm filling the dead space, the guy's not talking. So at this point in the debate, 
everybody's beginning to realise that Nathan, without his mute button and without the uh, power to scream and shout obscenities at people, literally has nothing to say. It was embarrassing. Were you not embarrassed? Um... <laughs> well, I guess that's just what happens when an idiot such as yourself is faced with someone who's actually asking proper questions. That's just the way it goes, you know. And then come the ultimate destruction. It all started here. You can actually explain to me what defraction is. I will actually listen to one of your questions, but you won't because you can't. So I'll give you 10 seconds and I'll not interrupt if you can actually explain anything to me. Off you go. What's defraction? So why is this such a key point? Well, Nathan Oakley, like I said, runs a daily debate show where he milks people for super chat money in return for pretending to explain how the earth can't be a globe. And one of the things he uses so often is something called the diffraction zone, um, which he claims is the reason things disappear from the bottom up. Take a listen to this. Basically, you're seeing, in effect, the diffraction limit being reached and breached at the bottom, at the closest uh, to the deck, because it's the most limited of angle. So just to clarify, he teaches people that things appear to disappear from the bottom up, not because they're going over the horizon, but because of diffraction. It, you're ending up with it reaching its diffraction limit for the bottom section. Now remember, he actually actively asks people for super chat money to spout that nonsense. And then poor people, the real victims, like this guy. Hello, my name is Cloudy Flipflops. I know what diffraction is because I've heard Nathan say it. It's the uh, the angular resolution limitation. There's only me and Nathan that will ever say that. No, no one else knows what we're talking about, but there you go. Yeah, so people like that guy listen to Nathan, they believe him, and they parrot him over and over again, spouting absolute nonsense like that. Now, remember, Nathan Oakley is actively asking people like that guy for money so he can spout his nonsense. So I thought I was going to hammer home that diffraction point. Because after all, if he's telling people diffraction is the reason things disappear from the bottom up, if I can show that he has no idea what diffraction is, that's going to kill him. What's diffraction? I haven't got an answer to my request to get oh, you to haven't got an answer to... You didn't, well, you didn't, didn't, you didn't, didn't let me answer, you. so you're just a liar. Ooh, you're just a liar. Brilliant. How old are you? Thirteen and a half. Sounds like it. Anyway, while Nathan's on the run, let's bury him. So here we go, Anthony. So this is what I mean. Without the mute button, you ask Nathan a series, you know, any kind of question, he literally clearly doesn't know the meaning of the word diffraction. But I do. And check out in the description below a link to the Baldy Cats channel where I explain it in full, just for Nathan Oakley. So there we go. So I'll ask one more time. What is diffraction? I'll give you 10 seconds. Go. What's diffraction? Oh, it's quiet. He doesn't know what diffraction is. To be fair, you didn't give him 10 seconds. Uh, I'll give you 10 seconds to Google it. Go on, what's diffraction? Better get Googling fast. Well, that's your 10 seconds. So Nathan Oakley, thoroughly exposed. Russ McGarry, what do you think now, pal? Hello, it's me, Russ McGarry. I'm really upset. You should have just said it, Nathan. You should have said what diffraction is, and you've let us all down now because... We all think you don't know what it means and... Oh... Exactly. Russ McGarry, anything else you want to add? No, Nathan, you really let yourself down. I was obviously rooting for you at the beginning. It just didn't go the way any of us thought it were going to go. It's really quite, quite upsetting. So then if I do say so myself, Conspiracy Cats, close the show out like a boss. So literally, you've been banging about the diffraction zone. You can't even explain what diffraction is. What an absolute muppet. This is why you're not taken seriously. I've just destroyed you on your friend's channel. You've been absolutely destroyed on this channel by one question, something that you've been banging on about for ages. So, Nathan, you literally are nothing. When, you, when you've actually done some research and you want to do this properly without me destroying you, I'll see you then. Thank you, everybody. I think you just made my next video for me. See you later. Right, I do realise I've been a little bit smug today, but uh, regular viewers will know that that has been a long time coming. Um, I will be back with more light-hearted videos soon. In the meantime, if you do happen to see Nathan Oakley around about in the chat, ask him why he wanted that debate deleting off the internet so badly. See you around. Hey Nathan, what's diffraction? And do you presuppose it? Or a shroom it? Stay in school. Hey, Slappy the Clown. What's the fraction? <laughs> Nathan, what is the fraction? Cats, cats, conspiracy cats. No one quite like him to flatten the flats. So come feel the vibe. Like and subscribe.
subscribe and take off your hat.